Hi everyone, it's Be Divine and welcome to Divine Miracles channel and the very first tarot lesson for you all. Now today it's all about choosing the right deck. I have I cannot tell you how much this will impact on the readings that you're going to do. And you know there are so many other videos that I could do about um, you know the origins of the tarot and you know the history and why we use it etc etc but I really want you to get into your mind the type of tarot readings that you're going to do for other people are going to be a lot different than the fortune telling type of readings that you might have had yourself in the past the tarot readings that I do for people are intuition, they're intuitive, they're touching the people's soul, they're going past what the person is asking me and going into the real reasons why they may be asking me on a soul level those types of questions. So choosing your deck is going to be the most important thing. Now some people say that you should be given a deck and yes that's true you should be given a deck it is better luck that way apparently and traditionally. My very first deck I had when I was 15 years old and I still use it to this day but some of the messages or the images on those cards if I was showing them to another person doing a reading for them they might be a little bit frightened by some of the issue, images on there for example um, the ten of swords on my mythic tarot so I'll just show you uh, so look at this the um, the nine of swords for example if I'm showing someone a reading them they, they'll be a little bit they'll be thinking oh my lord something's going to happen to me that's really really terrible but to me this tells me a completely different story because I've used these cards since I was 15 years old so your your deck your cards see this is a beautiful card the Empress your deck that you choose needs to resonate with you on a deep and meaningful level choosing your deck is the most important thing now you can have many many decks um, you can you can use them for for example you might say to yourself okay I'm going to use this deck when I'm doing email readings or I'm going to use this deck when I'm working with myself or I'm going to use this deck when I'm talking about love and relationships or this deck when I'm traveling so for example I use my dragon tarot when I'm traveling and if you've had a reading with me when I've been um, you know traveling around Australia for example and doing readings for people you would have seen me use the dragon tarot and I always use them when I'm traveling wrapping them in a cloth is also good because it keeps out negative vibration so a satin or a cotton cloth and using a crystal as well and I'll go over more of those things so you need to find a deck that really resonates with you and it makes you feel joyful um, again you can use them for different situations for example another deck um, Pete bought me this deck and this is the Druid Craft Tarot and you can see it's got beautiful images on there but it may be alright for you, it might not be alright for somebody else you might not like this type of a deck so when you're looking around at the tarot decks just close your eyes for a moment and say to yourself how does this make me feel, how does this deck make me feel and if you feel inspired and if you feel excited and you feel joyful that is going to be a really good deck for you because what we want you to be able to do is forget about the book because you cannot carry that book with you when you're doing a reading for someone throw that book away and in fact get your own notepad out let's start our own book because we're going to be going over a whole lot of information in this course I will go over every single card and uh, of the entire deck in deep and meaningful ways showing you different symbolisms of each one different interactions with cards as well but for the main thing is choosing the right deck I can't emphasize that enough you must feel within yourself that it's easy for you to do this um, it's easy in a way because you're not going to be worrying about what the book says I want you to forget what the book says every single book you read on tarot is going to be different it's going to have a different meaning to it it's going to say something different because they are working on the images of the deck each deck having its own different image each interpretation is going to be the writer's interpretation of what they felt when they looked at that card all right so whether you want to go back to the Marcelli's deck which is you know the 1400s or whatever you want to do 
you're going to find a different interpretation in every single book and you can confuse yourself like crazy. So choose a deck that resonates with you and makes you feel good when you're looking at the pictures. Sometimes darker images are for you and there's tons and tons of tarot cards out there. Those darker images might spark something off inside your mind because we want to work with the right side of the brain which is where the intuition resides, which is where your imagination resides and where you're going to receive information as well as the heart centre from your guides, from, from the other side of the veil, from the source of everything. I want to change the way that readings are done for people and and I feel that everyone's ready for more loving and you know guidance rather than fortune telling. I will teach you some tricks on how you can do timing of things, how you can do yes and no answers, how you can look at the different cards and say okay I've got three knights it means this, I've got three kings it means that and we'll go over different things like that um, and I'll show you some sample spreads as well but let's forget the books and let's start our own so choose your deck um, choose it with um, thought in your mind of how it makes you feel um, and you will be all the much better reader if you are comfortable with your own deck and then we're going to start going over some different things so choose the deck for yourself um, you know go on what it feels for you and then also think about okay if I'm doing a relationship type of a reading is, is this going to be good for that you know um, sometimes you'll find a deck that is good for everything you know and you can just use it for all of your readings um, or it's just the one that you always go to and sometimes people go to the Rider Waite and use that all the time funnily enough I don't feel connected to the Rider Waite um, tarot at all so I don't use it. <laughs> I don't even have one of those decks. But I will show you some of the decks that I've got. They're a little bit unusual as well. And, um, you know, we'll go through. And this is going to be as long as it takes. This course is not going to be rushed in any way. Um, I'm just going to slowly take my time and, you know, just do a whole lot of videos on different sections of the tarot so you've got an understanding. And you can put these principles to use to any um, pictures that you see any um, picture cards, oracle cards, whatever it is and you'll, your readings will start to be incredible they will stop being, um, you, you know, when sometimes you've gone to a reader and they've gone, um, hmm, hmm, I'm not sure, mm, let me look, you know, and they're doing all this kind of thing to you or they're asking you questions and, you know, it, it's sort of um, pushing you into um, another direction with your readings and, you know, you just you're just feeling more confused when you've been with someone than you were to go in there in the beginning. So we're going to go to the heart of the question. We're going to go to the heart of the soul. You know, what is the person as a soul really asking you? And how can you help them to help themselves? How can you guide them? How can you help them heal? How can you help them change? These are the things that are going to be reflected to you if you choose the right deck. As we are listening to these recordings, you are receiving attunements, all right? So you're having a tune-up to your intuitive mind, to your pineal gland, to your third eye, to all the abilities you have because all of your senses will come into it when you're doing a guidance reading for somebody else. This is not a fortune-telling reading. You're doing a guidance reading and there's a big difference. So choose your decks. Um, go out, choose your decks. If you've already got your decks, um, you know, um, start looking through them through a different set of eyes, you know. Instead of saying, what does this card mean to me? Say to yourself, how do I feel when I look at this card? And perhaps you could start writing some notes in your notebook about each card. And as we go along, you'll have different tidbits of information like this um, to add to a massive book that you're going to have at the end of your own, of your very own. It's something that you've created. It's a study guide that you've created. And I'm really, really happy to be with you on the journey. So right now, go and choose your cards. Have a look at how you feel when you're looking at each card. And um, until the next video, um, it is goodbye from me. Hope you enjoyed. Bye, everyone.